Hey everyone, I'm Ross Hudgens, founder of Siege Media, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of thinking of your website as an SEO work of art. Now, this might sound a little fluffy, um, a few of you might troll me, but the idea here I think is important, and I've seen the value in it myself, is really every single pixel on your website should be thought through and really deeply considered. I think even more so from a linking perspective. Because the funneling of that internal link equity is so important. Um, and also just the overall economics of that site it, in, in performance from a site speed, uh, user experience perspective, it, it matters. So there is very clear delineations, I think. When you look at high performing and high, high value verticals of the people who are winning and the people who are not, there is basically... Uh, Picasso's ranking very high. There is stuff that you would hang up in a Paris museum in the digital equivalent ranking high when you when you basically uncover the fine detail that they thought through every single thing. And this might sound strange on the surface, but if you look at your own website, anyone who thinks this is off, you're probably guilty of not considering it in this fashion. So the first vertical we'll look at Life insurance, NerdWallet ranking number one. What is great about NerdWallet? Everything is thought through. They very clearly thought through the UX of their site nav. Every link, it looks great. It's optimized, but it's not over-optimized. They're also pushing the SEO pages throughout their nav in a way that makes sense still for their users. If you scroll down, they link out mostly internally actually, but not really externally very often. They're keeping you on page and actually only to some of few authorities in this site. You go in the footer, it's focus. You can tell every link there has been considered and it's considered deeply. If a link is going there and is funneling equity across, away from best checking accounts, it better be a valuable link that is building towards long-term brand equity or is otherwise being an important part of a real business and how it operates. If you look at a comparison site, good financial sense, not art. It's not as good looking. Uh, it, the nav is not pointing to any SEO pages in this situation, just back to the main site. That's a waste of equity. and also potentially a poor user experience in terms of helping people find uh, other elements. And then you scroll down, you can see these people are a lot more giving in terms of links. They're linking out with frequency, it's messy. Uh, there's not as much internal linking going on here. It's not very scrap metal prices. Like what is that some guest post that some guy paid for? This is not, a good page. It's not a Picasso by any means. You can see even if you go to the footer, similar concept. They do this little related linking thing that also doesn't look great. It's not art by any means. The sidebar, the share buttons are not custom to that business. It's not luxury feeling. The footer links aren't pushing to SEO pages. They basically decided, hey, let's push all of our equity to these other sites and actually not harness any of it ourselves through internal linking. That's not a smart way of using and thinking about every pixel and thing they link out to on their site. Another space, business insurance, progressive, obviously you've heard of them, a lot more focus. Same concept, look at that nav. They've thought clearly about SEO pages. They're optimized, but not too optimized. It's clean, it's great for users, it's great for search engines, and this site performs well because of that. You scroll down, beautifully designed. They're pushing out very rarely, but they're doing so to other relevant pages that they own. They're occasionally linking out, but it's still focused. And again, we get to the footer. Every page clearly thought through in terms of what they have there. They do have an investor section because they are a public company. They have contact info, but they also link out to other important SEO pages. They've considered this. They also are smart about it. You can see how it's gray on a gray background, which likely gives them the equity and people who want to find it can find it, but also draws the eye to that quote in the top right hand section. That is Picasso worthy. That's Banksy worthy. 
in this situation uh, because of that. Look at competitor, Esurance, immediately gross. Uh, sorry, I apologize if I'm going to offend this company if they see this video. Not, not good above the fold. Uh, the nav links are optimized, but not good for users. They're spammy feeling. Every keyword is exact. The text is, is not easy to read on the background. The site is using a lot of stock photos. They're over-optimizing the internal linking. This is the kind of thing that is a very common practice when SEO feel like they get to something and they think, oh, we need to basically get that exact keyword in there in order to rank. But they don't realize those subtle nuances of those changes compounded over time actually become the reasons they don't rank. Even if they subtly help you rank in the moment, these things add up and become a site like eSurance that does not rank at all. This was found on the desolate regions of page two or three of the search results, which you might as well not exist. Um, and you can see in their footer, it's it ha not as thought through. They do link out to a few things, but by no means something worthy of inspiration. You can see the difference in performance for these two sites. We look at another one, American Family Insurance. This is actually a well-known company that uh, you probably have thought of. They are fine. The nav is okay. Uh, does a decent job, um, but the main site is not anything special. It's not focused. And if you actually get to the nav or the footer, this is where I think is a clear situation where you, you know that they haven't thought through every element. They're linking to things that likely do nothing for them. I don't know who's actually going to download an app from them. Does anyone care about American Family Insurance Pinterest page? I sure don't. I'm not. I'm sure no one else does either. Instagram, no one's going to follow them. YouTube, maybe. But those links are going places that could in turn, instead gone to more, in page, more important pages internally. You see the same thing with like some of these other pages, my AmFam app, even though it's already linked in the bottom right again, these are repetitive links that don't add value. Contact is fine, uh, but there's this making a difference. Like what do these things mean to the random person? No one knows what one Saturday means. I don't know what that means. I've never heard of that. Maybe it's on a commercial, but that is wasted effort and internal linking equity that also distracts from conversion. It's not just SEO. These are things that we saw comparatively from Progressive. They have the nice get a quote section on there. This page, I would bet every single dollar I've got, oh, maybe a good amount of dollars I got, that this converts better than that other page. And that's the confidence I have that this is loose and is the reason why you don't find it on page one. Like Progressive, that is ranking number one for business insurance because of the focus and the pixel by pixel thought process they've had. So if you're not operating with that pixel by pixel thought process, you maybe should start using that phrase in your meetings. We need to think of this page as a work of art and consider every single thing we do in order to create the compounding effect to rank like Progressive to rank like NerdWallet, and that's why they rank as well as they do. So hopefully uh, this will help you build towards that museum in Paris in, as your website. Uh, thanks for watching. Give, if you like it, give us a thumbs up, uh, comment, and uh, thanks, thanks for, damn it, this is not a work of art. <laughs>